if we all take it on right now, alright, we stop gossiping. And if we would be really sharp, like really rigorous about it, we would see that there is not much conversation would go out through the day if you take out gossiping. You're just like, uh, hey, did you know what Emma... Uh, all right, I cannot say that. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, I got... <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, you know, it kind of a be like, right? It's yeah, like, it's like a filler, like a filler for yeah. everyday conversations. Just put in some gossip and you have to talk, you know, something yeah. to talk for hours. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, right. And then me and them are on a program where actually the agreement of the program is that, you know, we do not gossip. <laughs> and it's just like... But uh, it is. Yeah. I think it's very... Uh, it's also very uncomfortable, like, all right, you might be in a conversation where other people gossip, right? And you don't say anything. But by participating or just being in that conversation, kind of, a, you know, if people would watch from a distance, they would see you in and they would be like, all right, those are gossip mongers. You know, whether you say anything or don't, because you also didn't stop it. You didn't say like, hey, guys, you know, you're gossiping. I'm out of here. You know, I do not participate in these kind of conversations. No, we just kind of endure, you know, so we don't look bad, so that we don't hurt the people who gossip, you know, so we don't say, hey, guys, you know, stop it. That, that would make us look bad. So I see all that when it comes to gossiping. It's just like, and I really respect people who do. And I, li I only know one person who does that. In the whole world, I only, until now, of all the people that I know, I only know one person who is actually stopping every gossip conversation that is happening around her. And, and she was in our uh, talk show, it's Harleen. So she was a guest. She is really, and she says, people don't like me because I do that. Because she said, one time I was at the one funeral and somebody come to me and start talking about other person that was also there in the room. And I just called that other person, hey, come here, this guy wants to say something to you. Oops. Imagine, imagine, oopsie daisy, you know, imagine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, that's why, yeah. you know, that that's also like being a leader, like true leader in making uh, something else available for the people also that is necessary to do. And 